noon on flowfootball.com. Richmond looking to build off their first league win of the year will travel to Orono to take on Maine, who is coming off their bye week and looking for their first conference win. Yeah, Richmond got a much needed 23 20 victory over UAlbany last week to snap a three game losing streak, and they'll try to take that momentum to nationally ranked Maine. Maurice Jackson and Kobe Turner spearheaded a dominant performance from the Spiders' defensive line against U Albany as Richmond recorded seven sacks and 11 tackles for loss, and Richmond also forced multiple turnovers for the first time all season. It will be key for them to turn in a similar effort on Saturday to try to slow down Maine's high-powered aerial attack. The Spiders' offense struggled with just 183 yards against the Great Danes, but didn't turn it over and was able to hit a big 61-yard TD pass from Bo English to Keiston Fuller in the first quarter. English took nearly every snap versus U Albany and accounted for 153 yards of total offense in the game. Now Maine was off last week and should be extremely motivated to pick up its first CA victory after an 0-2 start. Chris Ferguson's one of the top passers in FCS, averaging 324 yards per game, and the Black Bears receiving core led by Jaquan Blair, Devin Young, and Ernest Edwards is as explosive as any group in the league. However, Maine needs more production from its running game while cutting back on its league-high 10 turnovers. Now, the Black Hole defense ranks number one in the CA against the pass, but hasn't generated the type of pass rush that they would like or shown the ability to create turnovers. With a week off to heal up and make adjustments, it will be interesting to see whether Maine can get back on the winning track in front of its mm -hmm. home crowd.